Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of December 14th. This week, we're going to just jump right in here and we're going to take a look at your current energies with this main spread. Then we're going to figure out if there's anything else that wants to come up with the baby tarot at the end. But there you go. Coffee's done, Scorpio. So let's see what is going on for you, Scorpio people and Scorpio. Yeah, kind of a weird mix <laughs> is what I'm going to say to you, Scorpio. So uh, definitely could be some weirdness going on for you this week. But let's see. Let's see what is going on for you. Your overall energy is a peace card. So it could be a very peaceful week for you. Uh, you could be focusing on your own inner peace or your own inner happiness with this energy uh, here, Scorpio. You have the dolphin card here. The dolphin card is a card of happiness. So I do feel like for some of you, you need to focus on your own happiness. Um, it's weird. You have the five of pentacles and the five of swords. Pisces also had two fives. Um, so it must be in also cancer's reading was like kind of weird as well. So I do feel like you need to focus on your own happiness. You have the five of pentacles, the knight of cups and the five of swords. I feel this is like a weird situation where it's like maybe you were feeling left out in the cold in love. Maybe this attracted a person into your life, the Knight of Cups, but maybe it ended, you know, basically before it began with the Five of Swords. I feel like if that story is for you, I feel like this person was just a liar, cheater, stealer. You have the uh, Seven of Swords here, so I feel, and the Knight of Cups is facing the Seven of Swords. So I do feel like for some of you, uh, you could have been dealing with someone who is just like a player or just a tricky uh, type of energy here. But I do feel like for some of you, you could be feeling kind of left out in the cold in this situation. I really feel like you gave everything to a situation as well, because uh, this could also be you. Like, you know, you could be the type of person who kind of gives their heart no matter what. And it's like you were giving your heart to this tricky person and they didn't even care. So um, kind of like a very clear situation. For others, I just feel like there's some sort of dream that you're feeling like giving up on. And I feel like you can't give up, Scorpio. And <laughs> I feel like you have to keep pushing. It, it's like, I feel like you haven't even started yet is what I feel like saying. The, the Net of Cups, I feel, for those of you that have like a business or a personal project that you're wanting to work on or something that you're trying to create, I feel like this Knight of Cups is saying you need to keep pushing. The Knight of Cups, he's normally looking into that cup and he needs to cross this river that's on this card, um, but he could be fearing crossing that river. He is fearing it. And you have the Seven of Swords here. The Seven of Swords can just be fears and it can say that you are having fears about getting started. I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe you've had a business for eight years. Maybe it's been four years. I feel like this is saying like you, ha you ain't seen nothing yet, Scorpio, is what I feel like saying to you. So I feel like you need to keep pushing with that uh, Knight of Cups. I feel like you need to not give up. We're going to clarify and get more answers as to exactly what you need to do. Next, you have the Two of Pentacles. Again, like I said, I don't want to dwell on this story. I don't do X back readings or any love readings for the most part on my channel. You know, I do whatever comes up readings. Sometimes it's love. And I do feel like some of you could have been dealing with a juggling situation here. Obviously, I would cut that out of your life. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords here in the Chariot. Um, like I said, I do feel like some of you could have given someone the benefit of the doubt. That's like the word that's popping into my head. I feel like for some of you, it's like you could have been dealing with a person where you gave them the benefit of the doubt. You really tried to trust them, but I just feel like they're just a liar, cheater, stealer if, if you were dealing with that situation. Again, you would know this, by the way, Scorpio. This is not something hidden. This is not something where, you know, if you're in a positive relationship right now, it's a positive relationship. I wouldn't like, you know, turn this into something that it doesn't need to be. For others, I just feel like you are trying to have a victory here. I feel like, I feel like saying you've almost tried everything here. You have the Four of Pentacles, which could say you've gone from the Five of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. Could say you've been working very hard with this Two of Pentacles as well to, to create financial stability. The Seven of Swords can be a card of like trying to win, but not being able to do everything. You know, he's got these Seven of Swords, these Seven Swords. He's trying to steal those swords from this army that's down here. And, you know, he's trying to steal those swords so that they can't be used against him in battle. But, um, you know, we could say that this is basically a card of fears because it's like he's fearing something that might not even happen. But, you know, the other thing is, is he can't carry all those swords. There's still these two swords right here. So it's like he can't do everything on his own. This could be saying that, you know, there could be a victory for you with the chariot, but maybe you need to 
get help or maybe you need to work on a team or something like that. Uh, Chariot is definitely a victory. Chariot also says that you're kind of going to be taking control here. So some of you could be taking control. I find it interesting that you have the Five of Swords to the Chariot. Five of Swords, very independent, kind of like alone energy. This could say that you're trying to do something on your own in like work or business. And the Chariot could say, it's not that you need to do it on your own. It's like you need to take control over two like people <laughs> or you need to take control over the situation and guide it. So for some of you, this could be you like stepping into a management position or a leadership role and that's exactly what you need to do. I also say that because you have this elk energy. Um, in this deck, this elk card is literally just about be taking lead, being a leader and uh, taking the lead over a situation. So I feel like you need to do that. You have the world, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Wands here. Definitely a lot of success coming in for you here. Uh, I really feel like you're taking the lead. Even the world, you know, it's like you, even the world, it has this lady in the middle of the world here. You know, it could be like a card of leadership. We could look at that as her kind of like directing what's happening around her. And you have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands here. Ace of Wands is some sort of new idea, some sort of new beginning. Four of Wands is a commitment or a success. So uh, I definitely really like to see this. Uh, to me, you have two cards of a portal as well here, Scorpio. The world stepping through a portal. Then there's these two wands on either side here with this garland thing, whatever you want to call it, at the top. And this can represent kind of reaching a finish line or finding success by, you know, getting to the end of something. So I feel like a major completion energy here, but it's like you complete something and immediately jump into something else. I almost said this at the beginning of your reading as well. I feel like for some of you, this might only resonate with like one or two of you, or maybe a bunch of you. I always say that in like 20 people it resonates with, but I get this like sense that it's like maybe you're noticing a cycle in your relationship. And I'm going to tell you what that cycle is. It's like channeling through me right now. Um, what I feel like the cycle is, is it's like you get into a relationship, it ends in the same way, and then a new one starts always in the same way. So I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe you get into a relationship, you date the person for a year, they break up with you. And then what happens is maybe you, it, it's like about three months, I feel, until you get into another relationship and then boom, it's like you're in another relationship for a year and then it ends in the same way. Um, you know, that might not be exactly correct, but I feel like if you are in this cycle, it's like you're in a cycle where a relationship always starts and stops in the same way. I feel like this is saying that it's like you're, you are about to break that cycle, the world. So I feel like you're breaking some sort of negative relationship cycle if this is a love reading. For others, I feel that if this is a business work reading, it's like you're figuring something out. You're figuring out how to do something with this Ace of Wands. It's almost like a creative idea. Uh, let's dig into this and find out. Here, Scorpio, we're gonna clarify with this little tarot. Uh, between the Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, chari Chariot, major victory coming in for you here. I feel that you really need to take control. Chariot says that you need to not allow external circumstances to control the situation. These two sphinxes represent external circumstances, people, places, and things. So I feel like you need to make sure that other people don't control your life. Um, between the Nine of Cups and Seven of Swords, you have the Four of Wands. Again, crazy um, amount of repeating cards already. Uh, whenever I get these repeating card readings, to me, it basically says, like the universe is saying, I meant what I meant, what I said. <laughs> so uh, I feel like there's freedom coming in for you here. I feel like you need to let go of the fears. I do feel like some people, like, you know, on the four of wands, I'm going to show you on this one because it's bigger. It's like these people are celebrating, but they're kind of like saying, like, come over here, like, come celebrate with us, come have a celebration. So I feel like for some of you, this is saying you need to go and have a celebration or you need to allow people uh, to help you. Uh, between the five of swords and the... Um, Chariot, this is crazy reading. You have the Four of Pentacles here. Again, Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. So I feel like some of you need to let go of something for sure from the past. I feel like it's just holding you back. For some of you, it's like maybe you have a business, maybe it's successful, but maybe you have another idea. Maybe something else could be more successful. Definitely a risk, no doubt about it, but you know, I feel like you should take the risk. Between the Four of Pentacles and the world, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, some sort of new beginning or new offer coming in for you. So I feel like there could be like a new beginning or a new offer coming in with that energy. I feel like it's going to lead to a lot of success. I mean, look at this. You have the world. And even on the Ace of Pentacles, there's like the circle of like the circle here on the world shows up on this Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is saying you need to accept some sort of new opportunity that's being presented to you. It could be a new job, could be a new business, two Aces, love it. 
Uh, between the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands, you have the Nine of Wands. Uh, like I said, you can't give up. I said that at the beginning of your reading. I feel like there is no way that you can give up on something that you're doing. For a lot of you, if this is a business, it's not like you're accepting a new offer. Uh, like I feel like what you're doing is it's like you're getting creative. You're coming up with a new way of doing things, and that's what's going to lead to success. I feel like you have one more thing left inside you. <laughs> with that nine of wands and the ace of wands it's like i feel like you have one more idea and i feel like you need to try that that could be in love as well now between the chariot and the four of wands you have the justice card balance coming in for you here uh, i feel like they're you're, you're moving towards balanced situations the chariot to the justice card to the four of wands freedom coming in for you here it's like why do i feel like you feel like you don't deserve it I'm almost getting like the, um, you know, uh, I'm at a loss for words right now, Scorpio. I'm almost getting the whole feather in your heart thing. You know, um, there's a, there's a ancient myth of going into heaven. I feel like it's the ancient Egyptians where they weigh your heart against a feather. If your heart weighs more than your feather or something like that, then you go to hell. Um, so, and that's popping into my head, but it's popping. I feel like that message is popping into my head for you, Scorpio, because it's almost like you feel like you don't deserve something here. Uh, let's find out what that is. And let's figure out how we can correct that. Uh, top row, you have the devil. Let go of your fears. Let go of toxic energy, toxic people um, with that situation. Um, middle row, you have the eight of wands. Uh, eight of wands, quick success and a conclusion. Tons of conclusion ending energy here. World, eight of wands, the four of wands. Uh, the four of wands is reaching a finish line or wrapping up a project. So I do feel like there is a conclusion coming in for a lot of you. Bottom row, six of wands, probably attention. I think some of you, maybe you're getting attention or you're finding success and you feel like you don't deserve it. And I feel like you do. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like this is saying, let go of someone here, um, for sure. You have the four pentacles, nine of wands to the devil. So someone could be holding on to you here with this energy. And I do feel that there is a need for you to cut that person out, especially if they're toxic. Um, I really feel like saying you ain't seen nothing yet here, uh, Scorpio. So um, I just want to see what additional things want to come up for you. You have the Page of Swords here and the Nine of Wands again showing up in your reading. Tons of repeating cards, the Seven of Cups. It's like you're really spoiled for choice at this time, Scorpio. I almost feel like you're stepping into a new life here. You, know, you have this buy the book card. I feel like you, this is not what you want to do right here is buy the book. I feel that for some of you, it's this is a, could be a very innovative time. And I feel like doing things by the book could stifle your growth or could prevent you from moving forward. For some of you, I do like I feel like this is almost saying that there is like a certain order of things. There is a certain way of doing things. But um, and you can follow, you know, you can mimic success here. But I feel in a lot of ways you need to realize that you're on your own journey as well. Same thing in love. Is it's like I feel like you're breaking some sort of cycle in love. The page of swords. You have the. This is a crazy reading. You have the page of swords with the page of swords. So definitely looking into things here. I have never. The other day I said to Pisces, I have never. Pisces had like three repeating cards. You have like ten, and also showing up with each other. So that is crazy. But um, I feel like for some of you, this is just very curious energy. I feel like you need to be curious about things. The, the Page of Swords to me represents curiosity and it represents looking into things that interest you. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, you have the Seven of Cups here. Again, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, spoiled for choice for sure. Um, I feel like you need to not give up on something that you truly want. Seven of Cups says there could be like a lot of details. There could be like a lot of things going on in your life. And maybe people are telling you like, maybe you're wanting to start a business and people are telling you, you know, maybe it's time to quit. Maybe it's time to stop. No, I don't think so. I feel like this is saying you need to keep pushing. Uh, seven of wands, seven of cups here, the emperor. I feel like this is how you're going to show up here. This is an energy of needing to not give up. I feel like you're very close. I feel like you have a million reasons to quit on something here, Scorpio, for the most part. Could be a business, could be a job. I feel like you're going to surprise people. I feel like if you're at a place, like if you have a business, Scorpio, I feel like if you're at a place where people are telling you it's time to stop, um, it's th that is your clue that you are this close to you know proving everyone wrong with the emperor here. So I feel like you need to do that. For others, same thing in love as well. I feel like it's a little slightly different in love. I feel like you need to not give up on love, number one. But also, number two, I feel like the cycle is about to end. It's like the cycle that you have been living over and over and over again in love situations is coming to an end. Uh, for love, it could be any sign. You have basically everything here, but uh, Cancer, uh, 
uh, Capricorn stands out to me here. Um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo stand out to me here as well, but it could be any sign, of course. Um, but in love, I do feel like there's love coming in. For some of you, I feel like you're gonna, you need to open up to love in this middle row. It's like you have a lot more options than you realize in love. Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, so be careful of the warning signs with the Seven of Swords, you know, if you're dating at this time. Nine of Wands, don't give up on love. Ace of Wands, new beginning. Eight of Wands, quick success. So I feel like there could be love coming in, probably through socializing or through friends here, Scorpio. But it's a pretty good reading. So thank you for watching and definitely enjoy your week.